that machinery for TV and use it as a, a propagandist weapon against the psyche. They began to build up, you know, our need to look for somebody as a strong leader. And COINTELPRO not only destroys those leaders, but creates them for us. Right. So when we begin to, you know, do the things necessary to raise each one of our children to that same great height that you achieve, and that's what I teach in my school, the University of Commission Sciences, that if you as a teacher, because that's all we're teaching, we're not teaching students, we're teaching teachers, that just the very fact that you are a teacher means you are to remain a student in accordance to our philosophy. <clears throat> that the, our philosophy and our wording is the mission is mastery. And again, the mission is an ongoing thing. So if you are not teaching, and if you find yourself to become a teacher, if you're not teaching your student to be greater than you, then essentially we're just pimping the energy that comes with the attention that that student gives to you. And attention is a very powerful energy. It's a very powerful material. It's a material substance to the psyche. You can feed on people's attention. And that gives you that attention that people give you. They pay it. That's why they say they ask you to pay attention. You pay a lot. You pay in. You pay in energy. You pay in in everything. Your psyche. Everything. Your your thoughts. All of that goes. So, if you're not teaching your student to become greater than you, if you have been given the gift to be able to teach, and if you're not teaching your student to be greater than you, then you're a pimp. Then you're somebody up there who's up there aggrandizing the position you've been given, and you're just serving this image that you project of yourself. So our mistake is that we keep looking for messiahs, not teachers. We don't, we're not looking for teachers, we're looking for